Hello everyone and welcome to the Todd Berry Gospel Hour, spreading the word of God through music and ministry. everybody. Welcome to the Todd Berry Gospel Hour. I'm your host, Judy Dallas, and we have with us today, Mr. Todd Berry, our Glad producer. Yep. Thanks for joining us, Todd. We're here in Grove City at the Calvary Road Community Church, and we're with a Southern Gospel group called the Paul James Sound. Yeah, great group. Yep. You guys are very good. Okay, well, give us a little insight on how Paul James found that sound. Well, I, I think we all was raised in church, mm -hmm. and um, we had influence from early, early on, growing up, you know, having, I know our church had gospel groups come in, you know, quite often. And Plus your dad sang music. Yeah, my dad sang, sang um, at the church every, every Sunday, and, and I think um, Patty's sisters sang with her, and mm -hmm. so uh, it's kind of, yeah, born in us. Mm. Uh, yeah. But uh, I know myself, I was saved in at an early age, at the church I grew up in, and uh, it's just always stuck with me. I started playing music on the platform whenever I was about 11, 12 years old. So I've been playing, and then uh, when I was 18, started singing. So I've been playing singing ever since. So are you all from Ohio? Zanesville, Ohio. So I'm a true Buckeye. <laughs> I uh, came from Christiansburg, Virginia. Um, lived there until I was like 17, and then we moved up here, and so here we are. Christiansburg! <laughs> Christians music out of Christiansburg. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a good one. Well, what about you, Paul? I was born and raised in Huntington, West Virginia, and uh, went, to, <coughs> went to church in Ashland, Kentucky, and uh, Actually, the uh, title of our latest CD called When I Get Home, mm -hmm. it speaks about uh, some of those memories uh, about growing up down there. And, and then uh, most of all, in the course, it talks about going home to see our Lord and Savior. So mm -hmm. it's a, it hits home with a lot of people. Yeah. So, Pa, when were you saved? When did you accept Jesus as your Savior? Actually, um, could you all give us a little bit of your testimony? Uh, seven years old. And uh, just like uh, everybody can testify, you know, I haven't always been what I should have been. <laughs> right. But I uh, strive to always, you know, keep in the faith and, and to uh, let the Lord try to lead, lead me. And, and I've just always enjoyed gospel music. In case you don't know, this is my husband, Paul. And uh, growing up, I was considered a groupie. <laughs> that's <laughs> terrible. But I used to chase, chase guys in groups because I thought if I marry somebody, I want somebody that's, um, you know, has the same desire as me, used to sing gospel music, play gospel music, or whatever. I didn't want somebody that was going to be a stick in the mud and say, well, you just go your way, I'll go my way. So um, we, I was playing for a group, he was playing for a group, and we met on a Sunday. The rest is history, so yeah. I have uh, was have spent my whole life in church, and I'm so thankful for that. I had a mom and daddy that always um, saw to it that we were in church and, and living for the Lord, and I'm proud of that because there's not a lot of people that can say that in this day and time. Um, was saved at an early age as a very little girl. Um, some of my uh, earliest memories are singing in the church. I've sang as long as I can remember, and, and I'm thankful for that. I'm glad to know that I serve a God that can keep me through good times and bad, right. I'm not perfect by any means, but uh, I'm thankful to know that um, that I serve a God that is still alive and that is still real and still in the saving business. I'll tell you what, he is definitely in the saving business. Mm -hmm. Our Lord is just amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, some folks don't realize what he will do if we just take the time to open our hearts to him. Yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, getting back to this ministry where you travel all around Ohio or do you uh, go to other places as well? Mostly the, just the uh, <clears throat> tri-state, uh, you know, Pennsylvania, Ohio, West Virginia, Indiana, Kentucky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we consider ourselves the weekend warriors. Yeah. We all hold full-time jobs, so it's kind of hard to go too far. Mm -hmm. Weekend warriors. Yeah, a lot of us are weekend warriors for the Lord. We've all we've all been weekend warriors in other ways before we were not, um, you know, before we became Christians. Yes, <laughs> you're right about that. <laughs> but now it's all a part of the ministry, though. That's right. Yes, it is. Where it doesn't matter if we come back home on Tuesday or Wednesday, and, you know, that's what I meant by that. So. Right, right. You know, sometimes in the summertime we do a little bit more. Huh? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I, I drive school bus and uh, Diane works at uh, Bob Evans' corporate office, and Patty's a school teacher for Columbus. So, um, mm -hmm. with summers off, you know, we're able to do a little bit more with travel. With their summers off, I yeah. take time off. We, we, we still work around that, though. <laughs> so, I mean, what a blessing you are. Tell us how our viewers can um, purchase your music, your CDs, or your merchandise. We're on the CDBaby.com. And uh, it's a it's an online. They can order actual CDs or uh, get digital downloads. Um, you can also go to our website, uh, PaulJamesSound.com, mm -hmm. and um, the information is on there also. Right. I'll tell you what. We're thankful to have people like you that are out there saving souls, bringing them to the Lord. Because I'll tell you what, our world needs great ministry to get out there to people because there's so many people that are lost. Yes, Todd, and you know what else? There are a lot of people who have a dream of doing exactly what you're doing every single day. So um, what advice would you give them? I would say pray because um, I feel that it's so important. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people that, can, that like to sing, um, but to minister for the Lord, I think it's so important to um, be and do what God wants you to do. And if that's sing or pray or be a good church member or whatever that is, um, I just feel that, that that's my first desire is to, to be where God wants me to be. I'd say don't give up. Yeah. You know, you're human. Sometimes you get burnt out. But if you're going for the right reasons, God will <clears throat> restore you. He will uh, refire you up. So don't get discouraged and give up because there's people that needs to, needs to hear the gospel. Yeah. And that's why we're doing it, to spread the word of Jesus, to encourage the discouraged, mm -hmm. but also that the lost will hear the words of the song and that they'll hunger for what we have, for what we have Jesus. Yeah. And I guess uh, my biggest advice to other ministries is, you know, we're, we're all human and there's times we uh, get out of the, the pulpit or the platform or whatever and, and Sometimes you, you're like, man, I, I messed up there. Or, um, you know, you, you just kind of feel defeated. Mm -hmm. And uh, But then, you know, somebody will come up and, and, and say something to you and uh, say the, the certain song or certain testimony, uh, you know, j minister just minister to them. And then, uh, you know, just feel humbled. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because uh, even in our weakness, you know, God's made strong. Right. And uh, there's been so many times we've just looked, yeah, I think most men, you know, most people in the ministry, you can look at an audience and you can tell sometimes when people are hurting. Sure. And um, you just try to go with the spirit on that. Mm -hmm. And uh, just try to, you know, give them, uh, like Diane said, and, you know, just a word of encouragement mm -hmm. and just uh, keep on keeping on. Right. We're here live at Calvary Road Community Church getting ready for our Friday night gospel music concert that we have every week here in Grove City, Ohio. And tonight we're going to take you live here with Paul James Sound. That's right. That's right. Enjoy it. <laughs>
Paul James Sound. We want to thank you for tuning in to the Todd Berry Gospel Hour here. Yep, thanks a lot for joining us here. We had a great time with you. We hope you were blessed by today's show. That was Todd Berry and I'm your host Judy Dallas and keep living your blessed life. <laughs>